All right, I'm gonna go out there and work on a truck. Yeah. My buddy Mike uh, stopped over. I was gonna put these seals in there, and I thought I had uh, a socket big enough to put that on with, but I didn't. But Mike just happened to have a whole set. He bought this for his trailer. Yeah, that's why I did my trailer bearings. Harbor Freight set, not a bad. Uh, no. Not well, a bad that's actually a pretty good name, Maddox. Yeah, not a, not a bad deal. Yeah. But the, here are the seals that came out, and actually, Daddy Dirt Bike helped me with this one night. It must have been like 20 degrees out, <laughs> and little Dirt Bike took this one out, which looks like the newer type, you know? And it, that popped out pretty easy. But this one here, Daddy Dirt Bike was out there with a chisel and a hammer and, and three or four different hammers, and man, it uh, wrestled him for an hour. But he finally got it out. He even tried drilling it and pulling it and everything, but. Uh, this must be the older style, so. Alright, you wanna go out there and look at it and see uh, if it's gonna be much trouble putting this one in? Let's see what we can do. Alright, see you guys outside. Alright, looks like Mike has that all cleaned up. There are a couple little tiny burrs, but not much. Yeah. You know, because, you know, after 60 years, you don't know who've worked on these. So Mike's got that nice and clean. Nice clean. Uh, we're not gonna put any kind of sealant or anything on No, there. you know what? There's Feel a, that. That's, there, that's a sealant a, on there. Yeah, it has yeah. like a retaining compound on right. it already. So. It's like rubber. But what's nice is this this slides in that inner bore, so we'll be able to send this seal all the way to the back, which it looks like the the depth of this counter bore is about twice the width of that seal, so I have an idea of how far back I need to drive right. it. So You know it's nice, I think that, that pusher you got there is almost exactly the same size as that cylinder, so you, you I doubt if you'd be able to cock that in there. Well it, it Getting it started is going to be a little, you know, it's just going to be like any other seal. You're going to have to play it a little bit to kind of get it, get it started. Okay. Well, whatever it is, we can fix it in the editing room. That's it. Alright, so that's it. Yeah, I've seen guys put these in all kinds of different ways. I've seen guys just swing a hammer and slam them in. Well. And sometimes it works, but then sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I'm a little bit more timid than that. Yeah, same with me. You know, you know, it's different when you buy the stuff. Yeah. Check the manual on it. You know they said it's, uh, send it home. Oh, wow, send it all the way to the back. Yeah, I know. I know some some seals you just make flush, but you're doing you're doing exactly what the manual says. There you go. That sounds solid. Yeah, it does. There you go. It feels about the same depth. If we were really crazy, I we could get a depth mic and check nah. that. But I, I got I, I got hear it. I got a trained ear. Trained ear. Right? And you can see we, we sheared some of that uh, yep. sealant the off. Little rubber so that stuff. Job. That's, that's going to stay in there. Great, great job, buddy. Okay. Right. I think the other one's a little worse. So we're going to have to dress that up a little. All right. I think a lot. <laughs> 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 all right. We're going to go over to the side. We'll see you guys over there. All right. Mike's got this one all cleaned up, and he's sending this one home. Sounded good. All the way in there. All right. Yeah, I wasn't able to get down there and uh, film Mike putting these bearings on. I got a very, very, very short clip of him because uh, he did it on a, a Saturday and was working on, uh, I think, one of his fuel pumps, injection pumps. And uh, he was able to fit this in for me, but he did it before I got down there. I was able to catch him putting the, putting the, one of the bearings on. And I'll, I'll insert that footage here. Not much, but uh, you show a little camaraderie there. We had a little fun putting them in. 
So uh, we'll insert that probably right after this clip. All right, I'm down here at Mike, and he's working on my uh, axles for the Ford there. Yeah. He's got everything on machine. He already put the Baron on. Now I just got to put the retaining ring on. Yep. And uh, what'd you say? It was taking 10, pound, or 10, 10 tons to push it on? Well, it took six tons to force the bearing on. And I mm. think it was uh, maybe a little bit more on the last one to mm. push the retainer on. So we'll see. Yeah. So there you go, man. You know what? I couldn't find them uh, axles, Mike, because uh, it's a 28 spline. Yeah, this one's taking uh, about four tons to go on there. Hmm. Twenty-eight spline, huh? Yeah. An oddball one? Yeah, I guess it must be. Plus, it's it's a tapered axle and stuff. And, you know, I've seen, I've seen dozens and dozens of axles, but none of the same replacement. So Nothing that would match up, huh? Nah. So, this will outlast me. That's all that matters, right? Hey, I, it's going to be fun. I think so. I'm not worried about it. It's better than it was. That's it. All right. We'll see you guys back at the house when I put these back on. Thanks a lot, buddy. No worries. Look at it. Look at it. Very nice. Better than new. All right. I'll probably put these axles in when Mike's not here because I'm going to have to take these uh, back plates off. There's a, a seal that goes back there, and right now they don't even have a seal. So. Oh, that gasket. That gasket. Oh. I'm going to have to put a gasket. It's not going to be tough. These bolts are already loose. I just have to move it out of the way and slip that, uh, that gasket in there. But uh, it's not much. And then there's another same gasket that goes in the front. But uh, we can handle that. I think it's supposed to be like 50 degrees or more. So nice. maybe we'll do that. All right, thanks a lot, buddy. No problem. My Look buddy. at him. Mike's always there when I need him. Always there when I need him. We'll get it done. I need, I need him to do some electrical work. Nah. But, we gotta get this thing on the road. Yeah. It's all right. We got we got till spring, buddy. <laughs> here for you now. It will be. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Yeah, it's been a while since we worked on this. I think uh, where we left you off, I think you said we're going to see you tomorrow, but uh, that didn't happen. So it's been about a month. Maybe actually more than a month, you know. We've had some snow and rain and cold and other things going on so uh, it's been a while alright here's what we're going to do today we're going to take this wheel off and that should come right off oh, there we go it was just hanging on hanging on there alright sorry about the camera work we're working alone again and uh, what we're going to do today is uh, Got to take his backing plate off. It's only held on with a couple bolts, and then uh, try and slip a, a gasket in there. They don't even. Whoever did this last job didn't didn't even put the gasket in there. So, got to put that gasket in, and then uh, slide the shaft in and bolt it in. So, uh, all right, let's uh, see what we can do about getting that off of there. All right. Yeah, the hardest part of working on these things when you don't work on it for a while is trying to find the parts and. Uh, you know, you, you label them and everything, but you forget where you put them. But uh, I found them. So uh, these are all the bolts and lug nuts and stuff that holds it on. And then here are the gaskets I made. These are the ones that got to go on the back. Right here. So uh, let's go out there and uh, I'll set you up on a tripod and we'll see what we can do. All right. You guys are a little far away, so uh, I don't know how much you're able to see. Right now, I just got the, uh, the back and plate held on. I, I took the nuts off. Uh, can you see that? And uh, you got the brake line here and, and the brake cable, so uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, 
got that gasket on. Now, I actually might have to trim that to get the, yeah, I bet you I am. All right, I'm going to bolt this up and then trim that uh, gasket a little more. So, uh, let me dick around with that and then we'll turn you guys back on. Actually, uh, maybe I'll take these off so you can uh, see what's going on here. Come on down. All right, here's that gasket. And I'll probably have to, I'm going to bolt it in and then trim it up. Because I think the, the baron actually sits in this down here. Hmm. All right. Let me play with that and then we'll get back. All right. Get that gasket. I cut that out of the way. And uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to clean this up with lacquer thinner. Clean out it real good. And uh, here's the, the axle shaft that goes in there. And then this, this gasket here goes on. And this plate bolts on and it holds uh, the baron in here and the retainer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Loctite in there. Uh, you really shouldn't need it, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll feel a little better with it. You know, that, that should hold itself in without spinning. But uh, like I say, a little little Loctite ain't gonna hurt. So uh, I think Mike already had this cleaned up because he put that seal in. So uh, I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down with some lacquer thinner, and then we'll take these bolts out and uh, put that axle in. All right, all right, you know, it worked out well. I had to hit it on a little with the hammer, but, uh, you know, it's to be expected. And I just got to tighten it up to find the, the holes here. Get the drum right. Ah, my finger stuck. Here we go. All right, find a tire. There you go. I'm right back here. Here go. Here's your tire, man. Look at the air gun for that. You know what? These are brand new lug nuts, so no sense in putting them uh, on with an air gun and beating the hell out of them, right? I'm in no hurry. I got nothing but time. That's how we used to do it in the old days. Side on, we'll lower down and uh, torque them up. All right, yeah, this side's done. I gotta go around this side and do this side now. But uh, I'm not gonna film this, right? If you guys want to see this, uh, just uh, rewind this and and watch me do the other side again. And it's the same thing. So, all right, let me do that and then we'll uh, finish this thing up. All right, we got the last one. Alright, I'm glad we got that done. 
you ever have a job you just you just don't want to do? Well, that's, this was it. I didn't want to do this. I'm glad uh, Mike helped me with this. Little dirt bike helped me with it, and uh, Daddy dirt bike. And uh, I still didn't feel like doing it. I still have to change the gear oil, but uh, for now, we're gonna call it done. So, what do you guys say? Enough of this. All right. See you in the next one.